I, what I uh, did back then. But uh, yeah, what a fantastic surprise. And then later on, we took Tess home to the house. But because Annette had been in the hospital for a week, the house had no heating for a week. I don't know if you've seen Dr. Zhivago, but our house <laughs> was a bit like that. And uh, Annette was not best pleased. We're not the best, best start, but we had a beautiful daughter in our lives. And then later on, she loved school. She loved school. She wanted to take a car. She had one of these little red and yellow cars. You've probably seen them. She used to drive around the driveway. She used to say she was watching the ants. <laughs> I think she was killing the ants actually, <laughs> driving around. When I used to get home from work, they all, we didn't need ant powder. <laughs> Tess had done it all in the day, <laughs> driving this little car around. Aww. But she was kind, she didn't know it, she was kind. And then in school, everybody loved her in school. Yeah, she, she loved school as well, in a junior school. Uh, all the way through school, she loved school. And she won, we, we went, we had to go for a teachers, I think, we went there and the, the teachers, they, they said, yeah, we're very proud, we've been handed out all the certificates. And uh, we said, has Tess got one? She said, yeah, Tess won a certificate. So we went to collect it. I think Annette is under the, okay. under the table. I think, yeah, we, we kept the certificate of what, <laughs> what she, Award, was awarded this was in a junior school I think it was just well just before leaving junior school because as proud parents we were as you know we moved to France just after that but uh, she left the school and they awarded her a year's hard work seven years hard work very proud we collected this best chipmunk impression <laughs> Presented to Tess Castle by Mrs. Sturgis. Oh, I was going to say, can you still do a chipmunk? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's not even right here. Come on, please. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I want to bounce. I want to bounce, my daughter. <laughs> when we used to go, she used to go to bed and uh, used to read her a story, which have all the toys lined up on the bed all the toys and this one toy was a little pig and i thought oh well, she used to i don't know why but she used to love playing the meetings so she said say a say a, a question a story and who knew the answer of course tess knew the answer hand straight up i got this little pig and i made this little pig put his hand up quicker than tess and she didn't like this little pig <laughs> but of course we didn't know the answer because the pig didn't have a brain. So it should be the pig with no brain. But it was very irritating because he always put his hand up quick and Tess was like holding his hand down and she was Tess knew the answer. So mum was having a clear out one day and she said to Tess, we're going to have to get rid of some new toy. Little pig. He's going to the charity shop straight away. So that was the first toy that she ever got rid of. And then I think she was a bit grieved as it as it were little pig went to the charity shop on his own so we had to go to the charity shop and buy him back <laughs> but i still think he ended up in the charity shop and the strange thing was we were then that charity shop down there uh, a couple of days ago and i saw i'm sure i saw the same little pig and i said are you the little pig we doing for <laughs> nothing i said do you live with a little girl in Newport? nothing not, it wasn't the same little thing. And then I asked the lady, she said, do you know where the registry office? And this little pig went. <laughs> it was the little pig. I think we actually had to buy him. <laughs> this was the little pig. And he used to put his hand up. Like he knew all the answers. Well, he knew them all. He thought he knew them. He didn't have a clue. And that was the little pig. So that's... That's for you. You are lucky. Oh, that. Oh, little oh, pig. Oh, little oh, pig. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. And then, obviously, in um, school, she was a bit of an entrepreneur. She had her own business. 
she was not to the mother's or father's liking, but she had everybody making these little kind of string bracelets, these little tatty bits of plastic <laughs> for like two pence. And she realized that she could sell them for 10 pence, 50 pence, 70 pence, a pound each they got to. And she had all the children buying these little tatty bracelets for a quiz. And I think it took about 10 seconds. To, well, she didn't make them. She had everybody else making them <laughs> for her. She had this little enterprise going. And she was selling them for a pound each. Well, the teachers were not happy with this and they made her stop. But the trouble with that is all the kids were crying. They wanted these bracelets. They were not happy to the parents. They had to give up and let Tess or her friends make these bracelets. Yes, yeah, so she's a bit of a, an entrepreneur when it came to that. Then, of course, we moved to France. In France, uh, obviously, we met friends. We've got Steve and Lisa, the best friends over in France, and Natalie, she came uh, very close to Natalie over in France. And we lived in these rural, dry cornfields, you could say they were, for miles, dried cornfields. Now, in France, there's no fires whatsoever. No fires because of these cornfields. And one day, I think that was over, and it was getting dark, so uh, Annette said, you better get the girls in. So go, I go out to have a look. Can't see them. It's, it's getting pretty dark now, getting pretty worried. So I'm walking down the lane, and I can see a glow in this cornfield of a candle and Tess and her friend in this. And I'm thinking, uh, put it out please, come on in. A vision of thousands of acres of cornfields going up in the flames. But uh, no, fortunately, we arrived back in the UK. Oh, oh time's up. <laughs> Was it rain too? Thanks for the prompt, sir. So obviously we came back to the UK and uh, she met she met Dan a few years ago. She met Dan and uh, up to last year they started uh, seeing each other seriously, didn't they? Which was good. So a lot of people... <laughs> well, I, I thought this day would never come. <laughs> no. A lot of people have asked me what, what I think of Dan. And they said, what do, you, what do you think of Dan? What do you think of Dan? Well, I can truly say, because I've known him for like nearly a year now, he's messy, <laughs> forgetful, he does like football, and he likes metal detecting. And he's messy, forgetful, <laughs> he's just like me then. <laughs> what, what's not to like? What's not to like? Welcome to the family. And also, we've got a claim to fame in common, me and Dan. You may not know this, but we've both had the bomb squad visit our houses. <laughs> From things we've found in the river. I found one in the river over there. And Dan, well, Dan went magnet fishing, he told me. And the rope could pull out a car. That's how strong it was. But it wasn't a car on the end, was it? It was a World War I bomb, I think. <laughs> So uh, I don't think his neighbours were too happy when they closed all the roads off, <laughs> evacuated all the houses, let alone his landlord. But he had a new landlord then, he moved up to, uh, to us, I think. <laughs> so what's left to say? Well, I'll just finish off with a little story that um, Dan and Tess, obviously, they're going to be looking to live on the mountain. We went to collect a cooker for this. We went all the way to the other end of England, you could say. We collected this cooker, we got it back, we put it put it on off off onto the land. And then the next day Dan found a little dormouse. Now it wasn't a, a usual dormouse. These are only found in like Belarus, Vienna, <laughs> Oslo, Budapest and now checks done. <laughs> but strangely, a week later, his grapes were going missing in the van. There was another mouse in the van. So we had two of these rare little door mice. I think two weeks later, more grapes were going 
we got three of these rare things. So I think the little, when you look on the on the web, the little red dots around Europe, there's one in Chepstow now. For these little mice. Well, we had we had an adventure doing that. We enjoyed that. So me and Annette, yeah, we have a lovely daughter, and now we have a great son-in-law as well. So there's only one person else I would like to thank, and that's my beautiful wife for this. So thank you, thank you all for coming, and I'd like to hand over now to the the best man, is it? Thank you.